Alright, what's up everybody? My name is Delta Wolf 556 and I'm back with episode 69 of my following New Vegas playthrough. Last time I checked out the Brotherhood of Steel safe house, went into the Devil's Throat and got the unique variant of the minigun, the CZ-57 Avenger. And then I went to Camp Guardian and saved Private Halford from the Lake Lurks. Now in today's video, I'm back in the Hidden Valley Brotherhood of Steel bunker, in case you couldn't already tell, because I completely forgot to do one of the quests here. I did all the other ones. I even did Veronica's quest. This one just slipped my mind because the Elder already lifted the lockdown, gave me some Brotherhood power armor, as well as the safe house key. <laughs> so in today's video, I'm going to be taking care of that quest that I forgot about. Hello again, Elder McNamara. Welcome, Outsider. Welcome. The lockdown has been officially lifted, and everyone seems to be in good spirits. With the surface open to us once again, Harden's already started talk of sending a force out to attack Helios, but I hope to dissuade him. <laughs> what can I do for you? Well, I would like to join the Brotherhood. You've certainly earned the right. But I'm afraid there's a slight matter of protocol that must be dealt with first. All right. Exceptional individuals, like yourself, are sometimes allowed to join the Brotherhood if they perform a valuable service for it. While your actions up to this point have been commendable, I am afraid they don't quite qualify as such a service. I see. However, I do have another task that fits the bill rather nicely. Would you consider undertaking it? Yep, absolutely. As one of our patrols discovered, the mutants just to the northeast have become strangely violent in the years we were secluded. However, this turn of events could also be an opportunity. We mostly left the equipment of the communications array there alone, out of respect. As the inhabitants have now proven themselves hostile, no more respect will be accorded them, making their equipment fair game. Hmm. I want you to head up to the summit of Black Mountain and install this remote signal transmitter in one of their consoles. It will allow us to tap into the radar and other detection systems running there, assuming they're still operational. If we're going to operate on the surface again, it would be nice to do so with as much information at our fingertips as possible. Good luck. Consider it done, Elder McNamara. And there we go. That'll add the quest, Eyesight to the Blind. So I just fast traveled to Black Mountain because I've already been here before and I've already dealt with Tabitha during the quest crazy 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 that was quite a while ago so when she left here with Rhonda she took a lot of the super mutants and nightkin with her so they're no longer here meaning there's like next to no opposition occasionally I believe there is like a nightkin or two that will respawn but we'll see if there are any and I think this is Neil I think Neil is still just chilling over here hello are you Neil yes you are Neil oh I should take a Radix real quick. Hmm, well, I just completed... Oh, Radical. <laughs> That's Radical. All right, anyway, like I was saying, so this quest is going to be a very easy and very simple because I've already dealt with Tabitha and all the super mutants and stuff here. So it's literally just going to be as easy as going inside the uh, building, putting the thing on the thing, and then heading back to the Elder. So over here on the first floor of the broadcasting building, there is another Nuka-Cola fridge here, which is another one of the very few Nuka-Cola fridges that are in Fallout New Vegas. One of the other ones being in Vault 22, which is where I uh, mentioned it for the first time in this playthrough, I believe, but I don't really remember exactly. Now before I head up those stairs, underneath them, we'll find this little um, disturbed dirt here with has Tabitha's room key in it, which will allow us to unlock this door right here. Heading inside, and there is nobody in here. Perfect. So, Tabitha gave us the equipment key forever ago, so we can just go ahead and uh, take all the free ammo that's in here. There we go, and then uh, we'll take this repair note, and then over here, we'll find the sheet music book, which is the only one in the entire New Vegas. And then we head over to this uh, radar console. This console appears to connect to radar and other detection systems. Install the remote signal transmitter. You quickly install the device as directed. Immediately, a small green light on it begins pulsing, indicating that it has begun transmitting. And with that, we now just report back to the Elder. Elder McNamara, I have done as you asked and installed the radio signal transmitter on Black Mountain. Yes, we've already started receiving telemetry from it. This will be a great help in our future efforts, and I thank you. Now then, it is my great honor to bestow upon you the title of Paladin of the Brotherhood for meritorious service above and beyond the call of duty. I'm afraid a formal ceremony was out of the question, given our current state. <laughs> but I hope this will make up for it. That's perfectly fine. I have fine. the Knights refurbish a suit of our power armor for your use. It's one of the earlier models, but it should serve you well. Now I suppose I'm going to have to show you how to use it, aren't I? Yep, please do. First, let's go over how to put it on. There. I think you've got the knack of it now. 
You should now be able to wear any kind of power armor you come across. I've also given the order that all of our equipment be made available to you, not just the more mundane arms. You're a member of the Brotherhood now, and your gear should reflect that. Lastly, you will be allowed to come and go as you please. You've done so much for us that to do otherwise would be a crime. I just ask that you keep the Brotherhood's interests at heart in all your dealings. Remember that you will always have a home here. Thank you. And with that, we've completed Eyesight to the Blind. And yeah, now we have the power armor training. So now we can actually wear power armor. And one other thing that I, was, I wasn't I was wrong about necessarily, but I was slightly mistaken, was with Knight Torres. Um, he told us that now we have access to all of the arms. I thought that I was already a member of the Brotherhood, so I thought I already had access to everything, but then I was wrong because what she was showing us um, there the last time I was here wasn't everything. So I'm going to go and pay a visit to her and I could show you her uh, her full inventory. Oh yeah, there's definitely a lot more stuff in here. Not as much stuff as I was expecting, but there's still uh, quite a bit more, and obviously her inventory has slightly changed. Ooh, she's got another Nuka Grenade. I will take that. And then yeah, she's got a Plasma Defender and a SMMG, but she doesn't have that uh, Tri-Beam Laser Rifle like she did the last time I was here. Well, I mean, it has been a few days, so there is that. Bye. Yep, see you around, Night Torres. We'll probably end up coming back to you more often because she's a pretty decent vendor, especially with uh, that Night Torres' expanded inventory mod. Makes her a much better vendor. And if not for the weapons, for the ammo, that's pretty solid, as well as the miscellaneous items and even energy weapon mods, especially because um, I kind of can't go to the uh, Ben Graphs anymore. But hey, um, that is going to be it for this episode. Now, you're probably thinking, wow, this is a really short episode, and you are right. This is probably the shortest episode in the entire playthrough. This little part would have been included in that first time I came to the uh, Brotherhood and did all the work for them. I just, like I said in the beginning of the video, I completely forgot about this quest. I don't know why or how, but somehow I did. So, oh, Rad X has finally went off. That's all right. We're not going to be in Rad's, um here for a little bit so yeah anyway hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did i would appreciate you dropping a like on it if you happen to be new to the channel i would appreciate you subscribing other than that next time i do have a few ideas for what i want to do so hopefully you are looking forward to that in the meantime i hope you have a great rest of your day morning evening nighttime afternoon whatever time it is for you and i will catch you guys later delta wolf out